With OnBase, you can initiate a contract request with an outside party like a vendor. In this example, we're in the role of a contract administrator that needs to start a vendor agreement. To start things off, I'll create a Unity form inside of OnBase, and I'll select a contract type for procurement agreement, followed by a vendor agreement subcontract type. I get to choose when I want this contract to start on and who I'm working with. In this case, I'm selecting Deltec. From there, I can choose when I need this agreement, and from there, if they've provided an agreement to me, I can attach it. In this case, I don't have one. If I have any extra instructions, I can add it here. At a 10,000 foot view, end users like supervisors and contract administrators can see what's going on in their process with our report dashboard tool. In this example, users can see the entire contract lifecycle management process, including the inventory and status of every contract in the system. Once I have a case to work on, I have the ability to assign this case to myself. I can do this by going and adding this task, assigning it to me as an administrator. From there, I have the ability to associate this request to a particular individual at the external party so they can get those email notifications as we work through this process. And now I'm ready to actually create the contract itself. In my case, I have a clause library that I can draw from. And so as I auto import these clauses, OnBase will look into the clause library and pull in all the clauses associated to this contract. So as you can see here, I can take a quick look at the clauses that were brought into my system. Now I can generate the actual Word document by going up above to my task window here and hitting the create Word document task. Once I've done that, it automatically creates a Word document from the clause library, assembles it into a single document, and you can see here that I can open up that document and review the contents itself. Once I'm good with that, I can send this to the external vendor by clicking on this task called Send to ShareBase. And from there, it will upload it to ShareBase, send an email notification to that external party that I've indicated earlier, and you can see down here, this is the actual link that was sent over to the vendor. As the external party, I get an email notification with a link to download the contract that's been sent to me. From here, ShareBase opens, and I can open up that document. And if I'd like to download it, I can click on this download link to save it to my local machine. If I want to do any redlining, this is where I have the opportunity to edit it make changes as appropriate. In this case, I'm gonna change one of the terms from 60 days to 120 days, and I'm gonna save my edits back to my local machine. Now that I've saved my edits, I've also gotten a link in that same email to upload the contract back to the organization. So in this case, I'm going to find it on my desktop and just simply drag and drop it into ShareBase. It's going to upload it back for me as a contract administrator. Now as a contract administrator, I can pull it down from ShareBase and import it back into OnBase. And in this case, I've just saved it to my desktop once I've brought it back in from ShareBase. Here it is on my desktop. I'm going to double click on this, and it's going to upload it into OnBase. I'm just going to validate that all the index values look good and hit import, and it's going to bring it back into OnBase. And now that I've imported it back into OnBase, I have the ability to open up the document from my case window. And from here, I can look at the revisions that have been made by the external party. And I can do this by clicking on the revision button, checking both of these and hitting compare. And by doing this, it will show me both versions in a red line compared format. OnBase has the ability to be very configurable. From this interface, if I want to change my process flow, I can go into my administration panel and select the procurement agreement section here. Now from this screen, I have the ability to add new stages and steps to my process if I need to change my process flow. For example, if I want to add a VP to my process. So in this case, I'm going to select one of these steps. And you can see below that I have all the steps in my current stage. As I open up a particular stage, if I want to add a new step to that process, I can simply click this Add a New Status section, and it adds a new step to my process. From here, I can simply name it whatever I want to. In this case, I'm going to call it my VP Approval step. 
And then I can associate the actions I want my VP to have access to. So in this case, I want to allow them to approve and deny an agreement. From there, it quickly adds it to that step. I can hit save and close. And it is now immediately added to that particular stage of my process. As I refresh the screen down below, you can quickly see that it has now been updated to reflect that new process flow.